welcome to my channel. I hope that you guys are all doing well today. So today I wanted to do a flip through of our reading comprehension skill sheets. These are from Abeka and these are for grade four. So these you can purchase separately or you can purchase them in full curriculum kits. Now ours, we purchased the language arts and this came with that package. So first I'm gonna show you the student workbook pages. So here it has your table of contents continued on the back side here. And then we're gonna start with the first lesson. So what this basically is, is they have like a short story to read. Sometimes it's a poem, sometimes it's an article. It just depends, but it is just something that they need to read. And so at the top here, it just shows that this is the first one. So when you have your manual, it'll say, Reading Comprehension, Skill Sheet 1. Down here on the right hand side, you're gonna see the lesson number. So this is for lesson three. So I believe for fourth grade, they are going to have two lessons per week. On the back side, you will have all of the questions for your child to answer just to make sure that they understood what they were reading. And it just continues into the next story. So this is Grandpa's Wood Shop, Skill Sheet number two. Lesson five. And then the back side will have more questions. So this is basically how it goes all the way through the book. So I'm just gonna flip through so you guys can see it. they give you a summer reading record list that you can use. 
And that is it for the student workbook. Now for the teacher, I'm just gonna show a couple pages just because there's answers in this book, so. So this page just explains the introduction to the book, goals and objectives for reading comprehension four, developing silent reading skills, guiding comprehension through discussion, understanding literary concepts, enhancing comprehension and writing skills, developing critical thinking, developing a biblical worldview, features of the parent edition, and then here is the index of literary application. So it just starts off with the table of contents here. And then this is gonna be for their page one and two in here. So it's basically the same exact pages here. You're gonna find all of the answers in blue. Up here on the right hand corner, you are going to see how to do their grading. So if you're doing a six point scale or a 10 point scale, if you're doing the Abeka Academy, you do have to use the six point scale, um, but they do give you the two options. So they tell you how many points to subtract from each wrong answer. And then it just kind of gives you the objective of this, reading the page, how you introduce it to them. So then over here, it just tells you what to do to have your child read and then answer the questions, allow sufficient time for your student to complete activity. So it kind of just walks you through what you need to have them do when they're doing reading comprehension. But that is how every page here is laid out for you. And that is it, you guys. That's basically it for in here. I'm not gonna show every page of the answers. Let me see if there's anything in the back here that I need to show you. Nope, that is it. All right, so that is it for their reading comprehension, you guys. Now, I did wanna mention that I do have this Speed and Comprehension Reader. It's Adventures in Other Lands. Now, this I was going to do with this flip through, but because I don't have my manual yet, it is on back order. They're revising it. I didn't wanna do this without reading through that just to make sure I'm explaining it correctly to you guys and having the right information if I had any questions. So this will be with my video on flip throughs of our reading curriculum through Abeka, and that won't be until August. So if you guys are interested in knowing about Abeka's reading, make sure you guys are subscribed and hit that notification bell. That way you know when I upload new videos. But that is it for today, you guys. I hope that this helped you guys out on deciding if you'd like to use their comprehension for reading through Abeka, and I hope you guys are all doing well. Be safe and be blessed always. See you next time. Bye. had more of your smile what if the wind could spread your love what if your sweetness could reach everyone there'd be no wars 